hello welcome so in this video i am going to explain you about the while loop how we can use while loop in our integration so i have created one integration and in that integration i have added the endpoint a start endpoint so if you will see in this endpoint i have configured one request payload so in request if you will see i have configured the one parameter that is p number and it is right now its value is 10 so by default it's showing over here so you can change while running this integration so what will happen is that when this integration will be run the value will be passed to this integration the value as a one parameter will be passed to this integration using the request body so what we require is that whatever value user will pass that much of time we want to run the while loop so how we will configure this loop i will show you so before going to start just let me remove this error related to tracing variable so suppose we have one parameter i am adding parameter in this tracing tracing variable so that the error can be resolved so now what we have to do is that first we have to iterate the loop so we have to iterate the loop to till the time so i have to create one variable for counting so let me add one variable over here using the assign assign a status where assign where and here i will create one variable so i will give the name as where underscore count so in a starting the count will be one okay so what our requirement is that our we have to run the while loop till the value whatever value user will assign in this parameter so here if you will see we have we have one this while endpoint so here i will drag this while over here and it will ask about the name and then condition so here i will give while and here we have to pass the condition till when this while loop should be run so i want to run this loop till the number this where count right now we have where value where count as one though this let me make this as number okay so we required to run this uh, loop till number is less than equals to this where num variable count variable is less than equals to the number user will pass so here user suppose user have passed the number as this one pnum so suppose user have passed this number as three so this loop will run three times as one is less than three true two is less than three and three is less than three like this so let me validate and close so here you can see that the while loop is added inside that while loop whatever activity we have to perform we can perform so here in while loop so let me add one logger variable i will print the log message okay logger and let me print the hello message over here so here I'm just valuing. So here, I will print hello, and I want to print the count. So that I have to concatenate. So I will use concatenate function. Concatenate hello, and then after hello, I want to print the count. So count we have stored in this where count variable. So I will drag this it here. Now close done. So here it is configured. Now we have to add the uh, we have to update the count so once this loop will run first time it will update the count so for updating the count variable we have to again use assign assign update and here we have to update the value we have to update the value so here what we want to do is that we want to assign this variable to new values so that's why we selected over here this var and here what value we have to assign we have to assign this var count so whatever value available in that var count that one plus one and we have to uh, make this all this as number so i will select number this one and done just validate so here we have validated number plus one and make that is number close validate close and now save so what will happen is that it will start the loop it will take one value sorry it will attach the integration it will take one value as a request parameter based on that value it will create one variable that variable will be start from one and based on that value and this variable the loop will initiate it so loop will start till uh, this variable will be till that the value you passed in the parameter uh, the request body and every time it will run the loop inside that loop we are printing one log message then we are updating the variable count variable and once that count variable will be greater than the number passed by user it will end the loop so just save and close now let me go and run this activate this integration 
and now we have to run this integration so just click here and run so here in body we are passing 10 so let me execute this loop for 10 this integration for the value 10 so here you can see that our integration is executed and let me show the log messages so here you can see that we have what we have done we have initiated the loop initiated the integration and we have taken one value you can see that we have taken one parameter value uh, in re request so let me show you here so here you can see that in a start rest we have one request body as a value so here you can see that pnum is 10 here we have passed 10 so that's why 10 here and what we have done after that we created one variable in using the assign we created one variable where count and assign the count as one then after we started the loop while loop and in while loop how much time this while loop iterate you can see the 10 times and in the loop you can see in the iteration what we have done the loop is started and the, you can see the value the value number count where is less than pnum yeah it's true evaluated as true and you can see that it's printed the log message hello one next time it's went here after printing the value what we have done we have updated the assign so you can see that we have updated the value now you can see that after updating the loop will again is, is start and here now you can see that it's printing hello 2 hello 3 until now hello 10 so suppose if i will provide the value as 3 it will run the three times the loop so here let's load the log messages then after it will be visible over here so here you can see that it's run the integration and now in log message you can see that it's printed hello only three times hello one hello two hello three because we passed the value as three so friends in this video we have learned how to use while loop and we implemented the while loop in our integration so thank you so much for watching if you like this video and if you like the content which uh, i share please don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video thank you so much